Ms. Waits, you um, went through, and I tried to take notes, you went through an incident that happened with respect to the Children's Fund and uh, what strikes me has been tantamount to an involuntary contribution. Could you go back, just take 30 seconds, go back through that factual predicate for us one more time? What happened? Well, in 2004, when I went to the Delegate Assembly, we were told right off that it was non-negotiable. We had to make a donation to the Children's Fund in two separate payments that amounted $180, which I finally did, and I procrastinated because I had I couldn't figure out why it had to be two different payments, and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't tax deductible. But the name is the Children's Fund. It's um, the Fund for Children in Public Education. So you assume it's for children in public education. Oh, it, who in the world could possibly be opposed to something <laughs> called a children? Yeah, fund? if you ask a teacher to give money. A teacher may have $2 in her purse, and if you ask for that $2, that teacher is going to give a child the money. That is just what we do. Are you familiar with the work of the Children's Fund? I was not until the last day of the assembly when they announced that it, the money that had been raised through the Children's Fund would go to the campaign. In 2004, it was John Kerry. In 2008, it was Obama. And that was the very last day. Now, I found out what the nature of the Children's Fund was in the women's bathroom on a break when two ladies from California told me. I asked them if they were required to give because everyone, you were, you were very pressured into donating. And they said, no, it was a political fund. And that's how I originally found out about it was from some other lady. We, we may have a clip, Mr. Chairman, um, of an ad run by the Children's Fund. Let's see if we have one here. What do we know about Tom Ganley? We know used car salesman Tom Ganley was sanctioned for deceptive advertising. Now he says he wants to bring jobs back from overseas. The same Tom Ganley who signed a pledge to protect tax breaks for companies who ship jobs overseas. Can't trust Tom Ganley on cars. Can't trust him on jobs. We just can't trust Tom Ganley. NEA Fund for Children and Public Education is responsible for the content of this advertising. Wow. I didn't see a word about children or education. Yeah, if, if you're going to have a political fund, name it a political fund, especially when you're in an education field. Uh, people will give to children for any type of education purpose. I speculated, um, NEA gives teacher grants, and I originally thought, okay, maybe it will go to teacher grants, and then I thought, well, maybe it will go to underprivileged children or children in high poverty areas. And Children's Fund is a children's fund. It shouldn't be a political fund. And so that's you what didn't they know it was going to go for an attack ad in a, no, in sir. a partisan no, race? Sir. Now, it, it, something in your original uh, opening statement led me to believe that, that there was uh, not only a component of involuntariness to it, but that there was perhaps some shenanigans with travel money? I, it, uh, they, they took dues from BCEA members, and they included the amount of the donation in 2008 into our travel money. Because when I kept insisting to have the money back, I was told to stop insisting because the amount was included in my travel money that was separate from my travel money, so which infuriated me even more. They used our BCEA dues to um, contribute. Professor Dowschmidt, Dowschmidt, uh, Dowschmidt, excuse me. I was just a country prosecutor. I never got into FEC law and. Is that legal, I, what she just described? I am a labor and employment law professor. So oh, but you have an idea, opinion. don't you? Well, I would, I would give you my opinion that uh, um, uh, I find that disturbing, too, frankly. Uh, she's a I, I didn't lady. ask whether you found it disturbing. Well, I asked whether you found it legal or not. Uh, that I don't have an opinion on. I, I don't know. I don't know that law. As I understand, she did file a complaint that was, that was denied. She is a state employee, so she is governed by state law. So I can't tell you what the state law is on her, on her objecting. But uh, I, I think she has got a legitimate complaint there that, that if they, uh, if they uh, put forward that fund in that way, that she should expect it to go for. Uh, uh, it should be clear whether it is for politics or not. I suppose they could make the argument that 
this guy was against children somehow, and so therefore this was the best way to use that money. But, but I, think, I, think, I think she's got a legitimate complaint, and, and I'd, I'd be interested to see you know, why her complaint was, was dismissed. I'm afraid I'm out of time, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, the gentleman is correct.